Jacob Nielsen is a renowned usability expert and computer scientist in the field of human-computer interaction HCI. He is widely recognized for his contributions to usability engineering and user-centered design. Nielsen co-founded the Nielsen Norman Group, a consulting firm that specializes in user experience research, training, and consulting. Jacob Nielsen has made significant contributions to the field of UX design through his research, publications, and development of usability heuristics. The Nielsen's heuristics for user interface design provide a validated set of guidelines to help designers evaluate and improve the usability of user interfaces. These principles are based on in-depth research into user behavior and cognition, as well as extensive user testing and practical experience. By using these heuristic principles, designers can systematically and purposefully consider user needs during the design process, reduce cognitive load for users, and improve efficiency and satisfaction. Additionally, these principles contribute to enhancing the usability and acceptability of products, thereby fostering user trust and loyalty. Now, let's take a look at these 10 heuristics. Visibility of system status refers to the principle of keeping users informed about the current state of the system or interface through clear and timely feedback. This helps users understand what is happening and reduces uncertainty or confusion. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Let's say you're using a ride-sharing app like Uber. When you request a ride, the app immediately provides you with feedback on the status of your request. It might display a message like finding a driver or driver found, estimated arrival time, 5 minutes. This feedback informs you about the progress of your request and assures you that the app is working on finding a driver for you. Match between system and the real world refers to the principle of designing user interfaces that align with the user's mental model and the real-world concepts they are familiar with. This principle aims to make the interface intuitive and easy to understand. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Let's consider a calendar app. In this app, the designer ensures a match between the system and the real world by using familiar visual metaphors and terminology. For example, the app might display the calendar as a grid with days of the week arranged horizontally and weeks arranged vertically, just like a traditional paper calendar. User control and freedom. It is a principle in UX design that emphasizes providing users with the ability to navigate and interact with a system freely, as well as the option to undo or redo actions. This principle empowers users and reduces frustration by allowing them to correct mistakes or explore different options. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Consider a text editing application like Microsoft Word. The application provides various features to give users control and freedom over their editing actions. For instance, if a user accidentally deletes a paragraph or makes a formatting mistake, they can easily undo the action by pressing Ctrl plus Z or selecting the Undo option from the menu. This gives users the freedom to experiment and correct errors without worrying about irreversible consequences. Consistency and Standards it is a principle in UX design that emphasizes the importance of following established conventions and design patterns to create a consistent experience across an interface. Consistency helps users understand and navigate the interface more easily, as they can rely on familiar patterns and behaviors. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Let's consider a mobile banking app. The app follows consistency and standards by using common design patterns that users are already familiar with. For instance, the app places the navigation menu at the bottom of the screen, which is a widely adopted convention in mobile app design. Users expect to find navigation options at the bottom, making it easier for them to access different sections of the app without having to search for them. Error Prevention it is a principle in UX design that focuses on designing interfaces in a way that prevents errors from occurring in the first place, or provides users with the opportunity to recover from errors easily. The goal is to minimize user frustration and improve the overall user experience. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Let's consider an e-commerce website where users can make purchases. To prevent errors during the checkout process, the website incorporates several error prevention techniques. 
For instance, when users enter their payment information, the website validates the input in real time. It checks for common errors like invalid credit card numbers, expiration dates, or CVV codes. If any errors are detected, the website provides immediate feedback, such as highlighting the problematic field and displaying an error message. This helps users correct their input before submitting the form, preventing potential errors from occurring. Recognition rather than recall. It is a principle in UX design that emphasizes the importance of presenting information and options in a way that allows users to recognize them easily, rather than relying on their memory to recall them. This principle aims to reduce cognitive load and make interfaces more intuitive and user-friendly. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Consider a password manager application. When users log into the application, instead of requiring them to recall and type in their complex passwords, the application uses recognition-based authentication. It presents users with a list of saved accounts or websites they have previously stored in the password manager. Users can simply recognize the desired account or website from the list and select it to log in. This eliminates the need for users to remember and manually enter their passwords, making the login process more convenient and efficient. Flexibility and efficiency of use. It is a principle in UX design that focuses on accommodating both novice and expert users by providing flexible options and shortcuts that enhance efficiency. The goal is to cater to users with varying levels of experience and allow them to interact with the system in a way that suits their needs and preferences. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Let's consider a photo editing application. The application incorporates flexibility and efficiency of use by providing different levels of functionality and customization options. Novice users who are new to photo editing can access a simplified interface with basic editing tools and guided tutorials. This allows them to perform common editing tasks easily without feeling overwhelmed by advanced features. Aesthetic and minimalist design. It is a principle in UX design that focuses on creating interfaces that are visually appealing, clean, and free from unnecessary elements. This principle aims to enhance the user experience by reducing visual clutter, improving readability, and creating a sense of simplicity. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Consider a weather application. An aesthetic and minimalist design approach would involve presenting the weather information in a clean and visually pleasing manner. The interface might feature a simple and elegant color scheme, with subtle gradients or muted tones that evoke a sense of calmness. The use of white space and proper typography ensures that the information is easy to read and understand. Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. It is a principle in UX design that focuses on designing interfaces that assist users in identifying errors, understanding their causes, and providing guidance on how to recover from them. This principle aims to reduce user frustration and improve the overall user experience. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Consider an online form submission process. If a user forgets to fill in a required field or enters invalid information, the interface should help them recognize the error. This can be done by displaying clear and descriptive error messages next to the problematic fields, explaining what went wrong and how to fix it. For example, if a user forgets to enter their email address, the error message might say, please enter a valid email address. Help in documentation. It is a principle in UX design that focuses on providing users with easily accessible help resources and documentation to assist them in understanding and using the interface effectively. This principle aims to empower users to find answers to their questions and overcome challenges independently. Here's an example to illustrate this principle. Consider a complex software application used for video editing. To provide help and documentation, the application includes a comprehensive help center accessible from the main menu. The help center contains a searchable knowledge base with articles, tutorials, and frequently asked questions FAQs that cover various topics related to video editing techniques, software features, and troubleshooting. By applying these heuristics during the design process and conducting usability testing, we can identify areas for improvement and create interfaces that are more intuitive, efficient, and enjoyable for users.
If you like my video, please like it, share it with others, or subscribe to my channel.